Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about the latest events in Fairy Tale with Fairy Tale about to end in four chapters and the latest chapter being 542. I'm kind of just going to pick off where I last reviewed it, which I la my last review on Fairy Tale was probably I'm thinking Anna when like Anna showed up, Anna Heartphilia. So I'm kind of going to go from there and I'm not going to like tell you every event that happened from then I'm just gonna tell you what I thought about it so first of all I know this is before Anna Heartphilia but fairy tale or just this arc I know it's not been the best but I feel like this arc went downhill when Urza defeated Irene and I know there was some stuff before that that happened like Juvia and Grey or not yeah Juvia and Grey the fight between Silver that was not good uh, Gajil and Levy, Gajil about to die, and then, you know, we thought he died, and he tells all this stuff to Levy, and then, you know, Gajil's not dead, and then Makarov supposedly dying, and then I believe in a few recent chapters, he's not dead, so it's just, uh, so many stuff that's happened, and I know I think I actually did review some of that stuff, I did not review the fight between Urza and Irene, and I'm so glad I didn't, it, it's just been kind, it's just been awful, okay? Now, picking up back to the Anna Hartphilia part, you know, they, you know, they tried to stop Agnologia. That didn't work out. Ichia and Anna, you know, none of us thought they were dead, and they, they're not. And that wasn't really a big deal, because now Agnologia has this really OP power to where, like, no one can, it seems like no one can beat them. And that's a problem that a lot of series have run into not just fairy tale but it's happened to fairy tale so it's just like okay it's fairy tale this is not gonna end well at all like no one i don't think anyone's expecting this ending to be good okay i don't even think hero mashima thinks this ending is gonna be good but that's the thing about fairy tale hero mashima never really meant for the story to be that great i don't think i think he just did it for the journey and no matter how fairy tale is gonna end and i know this arc's been terrible i'm not really gonna have that much of a problem with it and i don't think really anybody should because you just gotta realize that fairy tale is not really meant for the story i think fairy tale it's just meant to enjoy for the journey and i know the journey hasn't really been that great in these recent arcs but it's just it's not meant for the quality i really don't think Hiro Mashima meant that. I think we all know that the quality of Fairy Tale hasn't really been that good since I would say probably I okay the last time I think Fairy Tale had a good quality fight was probably when Natsu was going against Zero like the first fight they had in this Alvarez Kingdom arc when Natsu used the Dragon King mode. I thought that was really good. I thought that was pretty interesting, but that was the last time that this the the fight actually got me really hyped now Tartarus was a really good arc But we're talking about Alvarez Alvarez itself. I was really hyped for it It's just been a big letdown, but I'm not gonna like I said I'm not gonna let that stop from enjoying fairy tale because this arc I know it's not been that great and there were some other arcs that weren't that great But fairy tale itself I've enjoyed the series and I want to see how it ends and that that's my personal opinion on it now also another thing I want to talk about is how zero died that was that was so stupid okay and honestly we should have expected it i didn't expect it really but i'm sure there was other people who did xerath gets defeat just like by love basically i mean i'm just saying like that that's probably how acnologia is gonna go out too and it's a shame really it really is i don't like that but like I just previously said, I'm gonna enjoy the last few chapters of Fairy Tale, although they're not gonna be that great. And one thing is, it's just so ugh, like how everything has played out because a lot of Shonen, or I know Fairy Tale's not even Shonen Jump, but a lot of Shonen, they'll have an ending to where it's like the char the, the main villain. Is so OP that it's like, how can you possibly 
or how can the main characters possibly pull through this to defeat it and I'm gonna use two examples and I know that <laughs> these examples I, I'm people might not like the examples I use but the first one being in bleach you watch he was so OP it's like how in the world are they gonna beat him and then it's like out of the blue okay which it wasn't too out of the blue but it was sort of out of the blue it's just like oh here's this arrow it'll instantly stop his heart for like a second or, and all his powers and everything and you know they use that on him and then that's how they defeat him and then Naruto you know you think Madara's OP there's Kaguya how in the world is this gonna happen but at least in Naruto and Bleach it it's not gonna be as bad as fairy tale is gonna be because fairy tale it's like okay here's agnologia the one of the most overhyped characters in the whole series and he he's you know that op like everybody will agree that agnologia is that op and i know we haven't seen him be defeated yet but it's almost so predictable that he's gonna get defeated by the power of love because that's what happened to xerath xerath's been talked about probably since the beginning of the series we've heard about xerath and how op he is and like how strong he is and he's the black he's the black wizard <laughs> or he has the black magic i need i need to watch all our word things but he, he's like so OP and then he gets defeated by love. Like we've seen all these things about Xerath. Like Xerath, you know, created the demons of Tartarus. Xerath created E.N.D. Xerath is Natsu's brother. Natsu with his new powers, like the Dragon King mode, could not defeat Xerath. Xerath is an immortal and then he just dies along with Mavis through love. So, what the heck? And then Agnologia, we can all tell. I can all tell you how Agnologia is gonna go out. He's gonna go out because they're fairy tale, because they're all friends. And I know not everybody like that's going against Agnologia is fairy tale, but I'm just saying they're all friends, so they're gonna take him out. And then the, like I'm talking about both sides. I'm talking about Agnologia in the real world, and then Agnologia who's going against all the dragon slayers of his spirit. They're he's both. He's gonna die both ways. Okay. Like, when it looks like there's no hope, in Fairy Tale, they're just gonna do an ass pull and say, Friendship always prevails. That's how it's gonna work. We all know how it's gonna end. It's so predictable. And it's just like this whole arc is chaos, okay? That's really what I have a general feel about this arc. That's my general feeling of this arc. And that's, that's just how it's gonna go. That's really my total opinion on everything that's happened since I've stopped reviewing it. I could go on more talking about the whole arc, but that's a video for another day. I just wanted to kind of catch up on what's been happening or just talk about it. And this goes for like some semi-review for the latest chapter, but it's not really. It's just a discussion. Anyways, guys, I'm sorry this video was not uploaded on Friday or Saturday. If you looked in the comment section on my previous video, I said that uh, the next video would be out Friday or Saturday, but I had planned Saturday and Friday as well, and I honestly did, I did think that I was going to be able to upload this video, but I wasn't able to, so sorry about that. But make sure you hit a like. Also, there will not be an outro on this video because I'm working on an outro. But anyways, have a nice day. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Zeno's back. I'm out.